Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering video. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze a simply supported beam with the length of 5 meter and with a uniformly load of 4 kN per meter. So it is a simply supported beam with two supports A and B is a hinge support which can take the horizontal reaction and also it can take the vertical reaction. So Rax and Ray. On the other hand, we have a rotor support on the point B, so it can only take the vertical reaction. So, our task in this video is to find out the support reactions for this beam. The second task will be to draw the shear force diagram, and the third task will be to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam. So, we start first of all with the first task support reactions. So, Rex in this case is equal to 0 because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. So we simply write it 0 here. While the two other reactions are a y, we have to find out because there is a vertical load acting on the beam. And in a similar way, there is a vertical load also at point B. So we have to find out this Rb. So now we came up here with Ray is unknown and Rb is unknown. So first of all, what we do, we have to find out the pointed load and in this way we have to convert the uniformly distributed load into pointed load. So how we will do this? So pointed load is equal to the uniformly distributed load into length of the distributed load. Uniformly distributed load in this case is 4 kN per meter acting on this beam and the length of this distributed load is 5 meter. So we will simply use the formula P equal to W into L and we will simply put the values here. So 4 is the load, 5 is the length and we will get here the pointed load acting on this beam. We got here 20 kN and this load will act at the center of the beam 20 kN. Now the load is acting at the center of the beam and only there are two reactions are a y and r b that are responsible to take the load so of course it will be divided by 2 so half of the load will be taken by r a y so equal to p by 2 20 by 2 equal to 10 kN and similarly the half of the load will be taken by r b in the similar way so r b equal to p by 2 equal to 20 by 2 equal to 10 kN now the next task is to draw the shear force diagram for this beam so first of all, we draw the reference lines with a 0, 0 reference and then we know the 10 kN is acting in upward direction. So we draw a line of 10 kN here at the left end. So a 10 kN shear force on the left end and then to draw the shear force at this end at B point. So we can simply use that the, uh, the total load is acting at B point. So it will be our A y minus W into L and we put the values here. So we know our Ay is 10 kN minus W is 4 and L is 5. So we simply put the values and we got minus 10. So it means minus 10 kN is load acting at the B point here, which is the shear force at B point. So we draw a line here at B point minus 10 kN. Simply we join these two lines to have a shear force diagram for this B. Now, what about at the midpoint? So to draw, to note the shear force at the midpoint, so it is a distance of 2.5 meter because it's the mid of the beam. So we will use the same formula, Ray minus W into L by 2 this time because half of the beam. So by putting the values, we got 0. It means at the mid of the beam, the shear force is equal to 0 here. In our third case, we are going to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam. So first of all, we have to find out the shear area for the first triangle we got from the shear force. The area of the first triangle in this case is half base into height. Base in this case for this triangle is 2.5 and height is 10 kN. So we simply put the values to find out the area of the first triangle. So for area of the first triangle is equal to 12.5 kN meter. And then we draw the reference lines to draw the bending moment diagram. So we draw 12.5 kN meter in upward direction as it is positive shear force to so positive bending moment. 
again to draw the bending moment at the other end of the beam. So we have to find out the shear force area. So A2, which is in negative direction, and the area of the second triangle is negative. So A minus A2, we have to find out. In similar way, we found out, and it comes out to be 12.5 kilonewton meter. So at this point, to find the bending moment, so simply we have to do A1, which was positive, and then A2, which was negative, so we have subtracted, and we got zero here. So simply we will bring the bending moment diagram to zero at this point. So this is the bending moment diagram for this beam. It's very simple and easy, you just have to follow the rules. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos.